you're here supporting Michelle Obama and um, the importance of us coming out to vote. Uh, as we know, our country has been in turmoil mm -hmm. for a little while, and it's going to be a very important vote this time. So uh, we're just here in support of her and trying to, to bring awareness of the importance of voting. I think that it's important for everybody to get out and vote, and particularly uh, we have younger people and uh, older people as well, and I see that there's a really good wide range of people that are here. Um, so just for number one, I'm here for support um, of an amazing woman, um, uh, first lady, and then I'm also just here um, because it's a political event and I think that it's really important at this time to become active and start participating in community events. Uh, we think it's very important that people turn out to vote in midterm elections. Um, this is a very critical time. Uh, there's a lot of people brand new that are running that we need to get into office and uh, kind of change things around in the House and in the Senate. So we are so excited to be here because everything that is going on in our economy and our world, across the world, too many catastrophes, too many gun shootings, too many kids dying, too many people having to face ailments and, and different things that they have to go through and where they feel alone. So when we're able to come together and, and be here as one. Um, and, and we're the know. only ones who can affect change. If right. everybody complains about wanting change and not doing something about it, then they're part of the problem. I'm 17 years old and basically everything that's happening in our government is going to affect me for the rest of my life. And I think it's really important to have a say in what's going on and actually be present in our government instead of waiting for everybody to do it just for us. Um, I'm here today also because I'm actually actively involved in our government and in politics. I've done like five campaigns already and I've worked in this. I have had fellowships just in politics and I think it's important for the youth to realize that even if you say that it doesn't ma affect you, it will affect you forever and your children because all these laws that are being passed, um, everybody that's basically ignoring what's going on, um, ignorance is not bliss and it will affect you in the future. Voting is a right. Uh, we fought hard to get to this point and not only to support Michelle and what she's trying to do, uh, it's not a fundraiser. This is a open forum for her to speak about voting and how it's important for the kids that are coming up now that just turned 18, their kids, their grandkids, mm -hmm. and that's why I'm here. I am here to support her as well as the future of America. Some of the challenges that I see um, would be number one in the schools. Um, I have a son who just graduated from high school this last year, so he's off to college. Um, just some of the social problems that are going on and the pressures that a lot of teenagers are feeling as well as we have a lot of um, like the health care problems that are going on um, and just people making sure that they're able to afford their health care coverage along with their prescriptions. Um, so that's that's like a you know a big concern I think of the community. So to let people know it's time to come out and make your voice heard. Your voice does get heard regardless of what we hear on TV. Um, it's just extremely important that people pay attention to this election this time. And so coming to events like this, it's unity. It's, it's all different backgrounds, all different walks of life. And to be able to be standing here, I know myself, I'm a double brain surgery survivor. It'll be a year coming up on the 25th of September. And I know, you know, thank God I haven't been in a position where I haven't had insurance and where I'm fighting just for my life in terms of not feeling supported and not having the, the government to, to back reasons why I had brain surgery. But to be here and to be in my right mind and to stand here and with Miss Maciosi, she's my high school teacher. So when I can be united and we're as one, we're as one out here we want to be a part of the change and there are so much that needs to be done and everybody needs to just come together with their differences and be able to respect each other to say enough is enough and what's going on in our world needs to stop because if we just think that democracy is broken but don't do anything to actively fix it it's always going to stay um, fractured and not as complete as it should be or how it's intended to work so I do think that we do need to be out here and support um, people that match our beliefs and our ideals and not just, you know, sit around and wait for the people to do it for us because that's the mentality that doesn't get anything done. Um, the, I don't, like, why should I do it? Somebody else is going to do it for me. When you should take, um, you should take a stance for what you believe in and, you know, follow your beliefs and stand for something instead of, you know, always being um, an intermediate person and never actually taking a stand. It's about togetherness, working together. 
so we can accomplish something, not to tear down walls, build walls. That is not important. It's called coming together and working together. This is important because we don't want, I, can I speak for myself, would not, I don't want what happened during the last presidential election to happen again. Um, number one and then also I just think that it's really important for people to come out during the smaller elections and vote for the House and the Senate and for our local governments to make sure that there's really policies put in place and that actions are really um, made we're really putting our elected governors and people um, holding the, holding them accountable to their word. Um, it's just time to turn things around. Um, I voted in every election that I can remember since the 1960s and uh, I'm not going to stop now and for people who don't think that their vote counts that's a mistake. Your vote does count and uh, it's time to come out and make your voice heard. And every time you don't vote it's one more vote for somebody, for else, somebody else that we don't want in office. Right. You know it matters because one turns into 500, turns into thousands, thousands and what happens is then you have those who are really affected then come out after they didn't vote to say, well, I should have. And now we are in a, we are in a rut right now. We are in a rut <laughs> where you have many that feel as if they don't have a voice, but I bet you they'll get out there and vote now. And we're hoping everything that, that's going on. that speeches like this will energize the people to get out there and not just register to vote, mm -hmm. but to actually get out and vote. Take someone to the polls. Find someone that you know can't get down there and, and do something about it. And we hope this energy carries through through to November. So I think the message is just to say, like, you should care about this. This will affect you. I mean, the people that are making laws, they're like baby boomers. Most of them are in their 60s and their 70s, and um, they're not going to be here as long as we are. So the fact that everything they leave behind, all of their legacies, will not even impact them as much as it will impact us because in order to overturn laws and to change legislation is a much harder process than to actually pass it. So I would just say like, just get involved. It's not that difficult. I get it. Like I'm a college kid and a high school kid. I'm doing both at the same time. I'm still gonna go and follow my, like I'm still gonna go into, to the university and finish my degree. And I can find the time to do that. And if I can do it, like anybody else could do it. I'm a veteran. Um I fought uh, in Desert Storm. As a matter of fact, I lost a lot of friends in Desert Storm. And what we fought for was our freedom. We fought for peace. And what I'm seeing, it, it, it hurts. It hurts me because what I'm seeing is our country is falling apart. And that's why this vote is important. Uh, things like this are important to bring communities together because we have to uh, somehow turn this around. And that's only going to happen through voting. So this is very important and we're going to have to just pull together um, and, and just come out because like he said, you know, voting is a right. And again, you know, being a veteran, I, we fought for this type of stuff. So this is very important.